Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a neck laceration that looks like this. So before learning this trick, you're going to need to know how to do the basic laceration um, where you just whip it over your index finger and then into a trapeze. You need to know this because that's all that's happening is that we're whipping over just like this, this loop right here. Instead, it's going around our neck instead of our finger. So that's really the only difference. So knowing that trick will help a lot in learning this trick. So the first step is just to throw a breakaway and we need to practice popping it up. So just for this, um, when it goes around your index finger, you do this laceration. You don't have to pop it up too high, but when it's going around your neck, your neck's a lot higher than your index finger, so you have to pop it up much higher and you have to get used to doing that. So first thing, you just wanna learn how to get, pop it up higher and just get that swing motion as well. Just like we'd swing in this, just like we'd swing. We're landing here, we're gonna pop it up higher and swing as well. From there, the next step is to actually gonna to be to swing, or to get the strength to swing around just like that. And to do that, what we wanna do is, when we swing, in our normal aspiration, we just do a small circle, um, just like that. But with this, we actually wanna do a circle and we wanna kinda of whip up towards our neck like this. So when we pop it up, we wanna actually whip. You see how my hand's right next to my neck. That'll help um, the string actually get around your neck. Um, once again, you pop it up and you swing. You see how my hand goes close to my neck, so you're swinging just like that towards your neck like this. Okay, and so once we get that, the last step really is just to land it back on the string. See what I missed there? The last step is just to move our hand from here, next to our neck, to under the yo-yo just like that. And we have to do that in one motion, of course, and that's where it is a little bit difficult. So to do it, we just, once again, we're here, and as the yo-yo is coming down, we're just gonna take our hand and move it where the yo-yo is gonna land. Something that can help is, as the yo-yo is landing, we can bend down a little bit to give the yo-yo a little bit more cushion um, to land on. From there, you just need to continue to practice from getting your hand here to here in a swift motion just like that. And really, this just takes practice. There's nothing uh, about it that's, um, there's no trick or anything. Just practice each step individually, practice getting the whip, and then practice whipping up over your head, just like this. And once you've gotten that step down, you can just practice whipping over your head and then also landing on the string. Once you've landed in the neck laceration, we need to dismount. The way that I do it is I take my throw hand and I pull it away and that just causes the yo-yo to swing over my neck. Um, but an easier way to do it would just to be to move your throw hand under the yo-yo and then just take the string off your neck. However, I think that this way of just taking your hand and just pulling and having a swing around looks much better. And it's not too hard to do, so I'd recommend learning it that way. Thank you.